Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I converted my 110 volt furnace to operate at 220 volts. In truth, all I really did was change the blower motor to 220 volts. All the rest of the components operated at 110 volts including the uh, fan for the heater right there, the control board, the transformer for the thermostat and all the rest of the control mechanisms are actually unchanged. So what I did was simply change the motor, the blower motor which is in the back there and its capacitor to 220 volts. Normally they are connected right here where the two yellow wires are on the top left corner of the control board. One is high cool or cool and one is heat and all I did was remove those wires and inserted a relay between the control board and the motor so the yellow wires now come down here to two relays one for cool and one for heat the relays operate off of 110 volts the voltage that the control board provides normally would have gone to the motor. Now it goes to the relay and the other side of the relay contactor goes to 220 volts. So instead of switching 110 to the motor it now switches 220 to the motor. The black wires are my 220 leg and the yellow wires are the wires that go to the control board. The relays I used all meet code for 110 coil and 220 volt contactor meets the requirements. The yellow wire also meets all the UL requirements as well in size, etc. This is the uh, connection box and it's all closed up now. But basically, I have a four wire 220 volt plug. And the reason why I use four wires is because I need both the 220 leg and the neutral white wire to create 110 volts across two of the pins and then I needed the chassis ground so I actually need a four wire circuit and then here's my uh, four wire plug as well. So this job was really quite simple. The really neat thing was the 110 motor 110 volt motor was rated at 14.1 amps that's a lot of a lot of current at 110 the 220 motor was rated at 5 amps at 220 well that means I'm saving roughly 400 watts just because a 220 motor is more efficient than a 110 motor and these are both one horsepower motors. So this is a very, very positive upgrade that I did. In reality, the reason why I originally thought of doing the upgrade was because I have solar off-grid ability to generate power and I didn't want to put a 14 amp, actually they call it for 17 amp draw on one of my legs to offset uh, my inverter. So now I'm splitting the load across the 220 circuit. But the positive part of all this was the efficiency rise of saving 400 watts. Anyway, this was very, very easy to do. Anybody who knows some basic electrical um, things can do it and change the motor out. Have a good one.